Blendspace.com is a great new tool we'd like to show you here at Perm High School. All you need to do is go to Blendspace.com and log in with your Google password. Just click the Google and it will automatically log you in using your Google account. Do not need to create a login, you just simply go in. Now you'll notice here that I have a bunch of um, portfolios here. That's really what this is going to be. It's a collection of all my work. It could be a collection of all your work or something that the teacher would like you to do or something you just want to do for fun yourself. And you're going to see that there's all these different uh, blend space or videos basically that I've made. So you see up here your dashboard, you want to create a new lesson. So you simply click on that. And again, you're going to notice that you have your dashboard up at the top and over on the right hand side you have your tools. So let's take a look. I'm going to call this public speaking just for giggles and I am going to go ahead and try to figure out how I want it to um, look. So it's going to be a public speaking portfolio and I'm going to put some materials together. I can make some uh, different kinds of um, templates, a design, how I might want it to look and I kind of like this uh, we're just going to list a bunch of them in order, but again, you've got colors you can use or just the black and white. Notice a play and then all the different tabs up on the dashboard that you can use. Now notice I'm going to put a category, so I'm going to actually call this language arts. And I'm just going to continue over. And now I'm over to uh, the right hand side where it's really pretty exciting because again you can share all of this information with your teacher or with your friends or collaborate on a product. Notice the tools over here. We have everything from YouTube to Google Drive to Flickr to everything. It's pretty amazing and this is really slick that you can do on your iPad. And so all I'm going to do is type in something and uh, I'm going to use the YouTube search and over the summer I really enjoyed Imagine Dragon so I'm going to just check that out and make a little um, portfolio um, dealing with that musical group. And so notice I find the video I want, I simply drag it over and now I have a YouTube video of Imagine Dragon radioactive. So now I can simply go and click on Flickr and any like concert pictures that might be there of Imagine Dragon. There they are in concert and that's from just something I found off Flickr. So again you can click on any of these and now here I am and I've got um, images from the web. I can take more of those if I want. Uh, different just again different tools over here on the right. I can go ahead and um, go into all different kinds of formats. This is actually Guru. It's a uh, educational zone so I can just take anything that I find very important there and I just drag it right onto my screen so I'm so if you can imagine this is all of your work maybe it was a picture you took in class maybe it was a poem you wrote maybe it was you know whatever the, you did maybe you did a video in class and you can put it all together with one link so all you need now is one link with all your projects in it. it's like a great big portfolio so again I'm just going and um, putting information uh, in here, like you can put a website in there if you want a website and just drag website in there. So I went ahead and did that. And you just keep going down the line. Now if you wanted to, you could put a file. More than likely you won't necessarily have a file, but you could, if you did this on your um, laptop or you know your computer at home, you can use a file from your computer. Or what you can do is go to your Dropbox file or for sure at Perm High School, go to Google. And all your files, anything you have put in Google, you can put into your um, blend space canvas. And it's kind of like a canvas. It's like a tapestry, a mosaic, putting all the pieces of your work together to make this really great portfolio. So here you just accept the fact you just sign in with your Google account and all of your Google files will come up. Um, that you have on your iPad and you can take anything from there that you want if you have um, you know any just anything that you have put in Google Drive photos or whatever it might be you can easily easily do that and then you go back down to find your um, the blend space that you were working on and there is the one I was working on and just open it back up again and now you're hooked up to your Google Drive and you can take anything from Google Drive and simply slide it right in so as you see I'm just going through the different tools on the right and again anything you want you can just put in there it's great to have all those searches right at your fingertips. Now notice here I've got my YouTube, I've got all my things going. I can also add notes to it so I can type anything I want and that will actually pop up if I put my cursor over the comments later on and I'm just putting a 
you know, personal comment in, in there. And if you want to put comments or if you want somebody to do something and they can click on it and they can see what they what they should do or what they should think about it and so forth. So it's very easy to um, add text. It's very easy to edit, to get rid of something. All you have to do is click the little X in the back. Right there, you see them. And you'll notice I'm going to click one out here. I'm just going to click that and boom, automatically I don't have that um, tab in there anymore and I can easily just add more or delete more or change more or whatever I need to do with it. So again, here it automatically, I've, I've hit um, the Imagine Dragon and the video just starts playing. And it's really cool is that it will, wherever I stop it, it will stay there and I can go back to it forward, backwards and so forth. Staff are gonna be using this quite a bit in their class because they'll stick this link in Moodle and it'll be really easy to um, just have one link instead of all those different links that might be in there. So notice that if I, um, up there is a comment bar. Now I can slide to the right or to the left and I'm putting my own comment in after I watch maybe the video and students can do this right live during class or just for the teacher, whatever the setup might be. You can also get comments from your classmates um, after they watch your blend space or watch some video or watch whatever it is that you have put together on your blend space portfolio. So notice the share button. All you have to do is click share and that's how easy it is. Right there, you could email that link, your portfolio to a teacher. You could set your privacy settings. Um, you could collaborate. If you have a group of three or four people and you want to collaborate together, share them and everybody can add to that uh, blend space. And it's just very cool. And again, you've got your link and you can email it to it. I'm going to email my blend space to Mr. Morris because I just know he's going to like this band and uh, my little portfolio I put together. So that's all I do. I just put his email address in there, put a little note in there to him, and I send it off. And that is truly how simple it is. Or you could take that link and put it in Moodle so that everybody in class can see um, the work that you've done and share um, your work for that class. Again, you can make this for your own personal portfolio that you guys can keep yourself or you can do it for class or both. It's just a really great tool. And there you go, seeing the whole thing starting right from the beginning and um, watching. So it's called Blend Space. It's blendspace.com. It's a great tool. Make